For this craft, you will need paper, colored pencils or crayons, a pair of scissors, some googly eyes, some yellow paint, a plastic fork. If you don't have a plastic fork, you could always use a toothpick instead and a glue stick. So for the first part of our chick, we are going to take our pencil and you might want an adult to help you with this. It might make it a little bit easier and you can either trace something that is a circle or I'm going to just try and draw a circle. If it's not perfect, that is okay. Now that you have your circle, you're going to take your plastic fork and dip it into some yellow paint. Now we are going to go around the circle with our fork, pressing down. We are now making the chick's fur. Baby chicks are very fluffy. So we need to make sure to give him a lot of fur. Once you finish going around your circle, then you can get some more paint and start to go on the inside of the circle. Just keep going around until you fill up all of the white areas. I want to make sure he is super fluffy. Now, I'm going to let this dry, maybe about 10 minutes, and then I'll be right back to show you what our next step is. Okay, so I'm back and my paint has dried. So I'm actually going to move my chick just for a minute for the next part. My chick needs a beak. And if you have some orange paper, you could cut a triangle out of the orange paper for his beak, but I don't have any orange paper. So instead I'm taking my orange, colored pencil or crayon, and I'm just going to start coloring the paper. Okay, now that I have some orange on my paper, I'm going to take my scissors, and you might want an adult to help you with this part. I'm going to cut a triangle out of the orange colored paper. just like that. And I think I'm going to make my chick a girl. So I would really like to put a bow in her hair. Hmm, maybe a blue bow. So I'm going to color my paper some more. A little bit bigger this time, because for the bow, I need to cut out two triangles. Take my scissors and start to cut out two triangles. One. Two. All right. So now that I have my triangle cut out, we need to get some glue. So I have my glue stick here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the beak first. And I'll stick it right in the center of my chick. Next, I need to glue her bow. So I'm going to take my blue triangle and put some glue on the back of it. And I want it in her hair, so I'm gonna place it right there. I'll put some glue on my other triangle and I will stick it right next to the other one. Now, we're almost done, but there's a few things that are still missing from my chick. Could anybody tell me what's missing from my chick? I think I heard somebody say it. You're right. My chick is missing some eyes. So, I'm going to get some googly eyes and put a little bit of glue on the back and stick them on right above the beak. Okay, so now my chick has 
some beautiful fluffy fur, a beak, a bow, and eyeballs. But how will my chick walk around? What does she need? That's right, she needs some feet. So I'm going to get a crayon or a colored pencil and I'm going to draw some feet for her. So for feet, I think I will just make two lines down and then two smaller lines for her toes. Hmm, I might even add some wings for my chick. And I think she would like to stand on some grass. So I'm going to get my green colored pencil and draw some nice fluffy grass for her to stand on. Maybe I could get my yellow colored pencil or my orange one and draw a sun in the sky. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this craft. And if you made a chick of your own, please send the pictures to your teacher because we would love to see your artwork. All right, guys, bye-bye.